Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell para ma-notify ka sa mga bagong videos ko. Welcome back to another episode of Business Math Tutorials for ABM Senior High School Student. This is your teacher, Ma'am Salgado. So the learning competency for this lesson is perform fundamental operations on fractions and decimals. Objective of the lesson is to multiply and divide fractions. So these are the answer to the practice set we have from the previous video. Please check your work and see how did you do. And for the problem solving, so let's answer that. The 3 8 of the coffee in the Philippines is grown in Cavite, and one third of it is grown in Batangas. So the question is how much of the coffee supply is grown in the two town? So to solve it, so we have the given, so 3 8 is grown in Cavite and one-third is grown in Batangas. So to get the coffee supply grown in the two towns, we just simply add the fractions. So we have 3 8 plus one-third. So since they are the similar fraction, we need to make it similar first. So our LCD is 24. So we have 24 divided by 8 times 3 is 9. So we have 9 over 24. And for the other fraction, so 24 divided by 3 times 1 is 8. So you have 8 over 24. Then we can now add the numerator and copy the denominator. So 9 plus 8 is 17. And just copy the denominator, which is 24. So the coffee supply grown in the two town is 17 over 24. So problem number 2. You have 5 and 1 fourth kilos of lanzones for a souvenir from Laguna. You would be distributing the lanzones to your neighbors but would leave one fifth for your own family. How much lanzones will you be giving to your neighbors? So the given, so 5 and 1 fourth kilos of lanzones, so that's the total you have. And 1 fifth kilos is for your family. So to get the amount of lanzones to be given to your neighbor, you just simply subtract the fractions. So 5 and 1 fourth plus 1 fifth. So again, they are the similar fractions, so you have to make it similar first. So our LCD is 20. So 5 and 1 fourth, so it will be 5 and 5 over 20. And for the 1 fifth, that would be 4 over 20. Then we can now proceed with subtraction. 5 and 5 over 20 minus 4 over 20. So just copy the whole number and then subtract the numerator. So our final answer is 5 and 1 over 20. So the amount of lanzones to be given to your neighbors is 5 and 1 over 20. So how did you do? I hope you get all the correct answer. So now we can proceed with our lesson, multiplication and division of fractions. So how do we multiply fractions? To multiply a fraction, multiply the numerator of both the fractions and the denominator of the same fraction. To multiply mixed numbers, convert it to improper fraction before proceeding to multiplication of fraction. To convert a mixed number into improper fraction, multiply the whole number to its denominator and add it to its numerator. 
and you have to retain its denominator. Okay, so here's the rule. So A over B times C over D. So multiply A and C, then multiply B and D, and make sure B and D is not equal to zero. For example, four thirds times three halves. So according to the rule, just multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. So four times three is twelve, and three times two is six. So the final answer is two. Okay, so let's have another example. So one and three, seven, multiply by fourteen over five. So we have mixed number. So. We have to convert it first into an improper fraction before we proceed with multiplication. So 1 and 3 7, so that would be equivalent to, so 7 times 1 plus 3 is 10 over 7. Then multiply by 14 over 5. Okay, so to solve, so there is an easy way. So we could have 10 times 14 and 7 times 5. So as you can see, you can divide the number. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. And 14 divided by 7 is also 2. So this would be cancelled out. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So our final answer is 4. So how do we divide fractions? To divide a fraction, get the reciprocal of the second fraction, then multiply the fractions. To get the reciprocal of a fraction, interchange the numerator and the denominator. So here's the rule. So A over B divided by C over D. So retain the first fraction, so A over B. Then we change the operation to multiplication. And then, we interchange the numerator and denominator of the second fraction. That's why it became D over C. Then, proceed with multiplication. So, A times D over B times C. Where B and C is not equal to 0. Okay, for example. 5, 11... Divided by 25 over 22. So to divide fraction, we have to get the reciprocal of the divisor or the second fraction. So this is the dividend, this is the divisor. So this will be converted to 511 times 22 over 25. So to make it easier, so let's do the same with the multiplication. So you will have 5 times 22 and 11 times 25. So we can cancel out 5 and 25. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. Then 22 divided by 11 is 2. 
So our final answer is 2 fifth. Another example. So we have 3 fourths divided by 6 over 16. Okay, so again, get the reciprocal of our second fraction. So this will be 3 fourths times 16 over 6. Simplifies to 3 times 16 by uh, 4 times 6. So we could simplify 3 and 6. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then 16 and 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So our answer is 4 halves or 2. Okay, so let's combine what we have learned so far regarding addition and subtraction of fractions and multiplication and division of fractions. So what do we do if we have a combination of operations? So like we have subtraction and then addition. So we still have to follow the thing that we call PEMDAS. So we have the parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction starting from the left. So to answer the example, so we have 8. Then we have to do first the one inside the bracket or the parentheses. So since they are um, a similar fraction, you have to make it similar fraction first. So the common denominator is 10. So 10 divided by 2 is 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 and so 10 divided by 5 is 2 times 2 is 4. Then let's simplify. So 8 minus, so 5 plus 2, we have 7. Then 5 plus 4 is 9. Then copy the denominator. Then we proceed with subtraction. So, 8 minus 7 and 9 over 10. So, we don't subtract the two whole number because the other one has a fractional part. So, what we're going to do, so we borrow one whole from this. So, this would become 7 and 10 over 10. So, this is also equivalent to 8 minus 7 and 9, 10. Now, we can proceed with subtraction. So, 7 minus 7, so that would be 0. Then, we have 10 minus 9 is 1. Then, copy the denominator. So, our final answer is 1 10. Okay, so let's have another example. So, we have 3 4 times 3 plus 5 over 6 divided by 5 over 6. So, first, we have to evaluate the one on the parentheses or inside the bracket so we still follow PEMDAS so we have multiplication first then we add so we have 3 fourths so 3 would become 3 over 1 so that will become 9 over 4 then plus 5 over 6 so, 9 over 4 plus 5 over 6, so the LCD is 24. So, 24 divided by 4 is 6 times 9 is 54. 
Then 24 divided by 6 is 4 times 5 is 20. So that will be 74 over 24. Okay, so next step, the division. So 74 over 24 divided by 5 over 6. So get the reciprocal of the 5 over 6. So that would become 74 over 24 times 6 over 5. And to simplify, so we could have 74 times 6 over 24 times 5. So to make it easier, so we could cancel out 24 and 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So we will have 74 over 20. And then we can still simplify the answer. So the common here is 2. So we will have 74 divided by 2 so that will be 37 over 10 so that will be our final answer it's time to practice To solve the following items. Okay, that's it for today. I'll give the answer on the next video. Before we end this video, here is some thoughts to ponder. A man is like a fraction whose numerator is what he is and whose denominator is what he thinks of himself. The larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. By Leo Tolstoy. Thank you for today. See you in our next lesson. Bye!